Dr. Dempsey is Sand Hills Community College, and Sand Hills Community College is Dr. Dempsey. When I think of John Dempsey, I think of him as a real Renaissance man. He is a proud alum of Notre Dame. He is an expert in political science and government and has taught those subjects for many, many years. He's a sailor. Some people might not know that. He captained a ship during the Vietnam War. But then there's golf, and everybody knows that John Dempsey is crazy about golf. Oh, Captain, my Captain, little did I realize all those years ago when I studied Walt Whitman that those words would come echoing back with your departure from TEDx to Las Vegas. I can't tell you how much I appreciate our travels together. I consider you first and foremost my leader and second, my dear, dear friend. Please know my career is born of your greatness, not mine. And please know that I am forever grateful for the time that I've had with you and to be able to serve you so long and I hope so well. What do I say to a man that has done it all other than do more of it? Our students, our community, and our faculty and staff are better because of you. Job well done. You've definitely made an impact that will last a lifetime. I think John would always say, be kind, be kind, be kind, and to never let your kindness be mistaken for weakness. Dr. Dempsey's more than just our fearless leader. He's a mentor, he's a confidant, he's a friend, and to me personally, he's family, and I think I'm gonna miss that the most. Thank you, Dr. Dempsey. Happy retirement. Well, the first thing I noticed about John was he was so smart. And I really enjoy smart. He's just, his wit was smart. His conversation was smart. Everything about him was just fascinating because he, he pulls you into his world, and he pulls you in very easily. So it's just uh, been very interesting to watch him all these years. You know, you can sit back and be entertained or maddened or whatever. It's just, he, he's fascinating. He came in for an interview, and so he walks in, and he's sitting at the end of the table, and I'm sitting next to him, and he throws this leather briefcase up on the table, and it had a big ink spot on it, and it looked like somebody had run over it with a truck. And so when they first started asking him questions, I was kind of fixated on that briefcase. You would think he would put it on the floor or not bring it at all, and he puts it right on top of the table where everybody can see it. And I said, well, you know, that guy's gotta be pretty confident in what he does if he's willing to put that briefcase on that table. I knew the day we hired him, we chose the right guy and, and he's proved it ever since. We have the Promise Program, which is unbelievable for a college our size to have. And our endowment has done that. And John Dempsey, along with the board and others have built that endowment. No student can, can never say to us, I can't afford it. Our foundation makes sure that they can afford it. You know, there's 58 community colleges in the state, and all of them would tell you that the most important thing is what happens in the classroom. But I think there's probably only one president who has taught a class every year that he's been in office. John has done that. And that's leading by example. Hesburgh said, our, our words should be buttressed by our deeds and our deeds should be inspired by our actions. Words speak, actions shout. And John's teaching tells the entire 
college. This is what we do. This is what matters. What goes on in that classroom every day. That's how we change lives. One of the things that John and the Board of Trustees has always had in common is the students that we serve. We wanted to be a difference maker in what happened to them in the future by what we taught them. And that's one thing I thought John always had a heart for was the people that graced that door and he wanted to make sure when they left there, they had a quality education. He's wonderful about sharing his knowledge about where to go, what to do, and he just feels so much pride for these students who come back to him and still need him and ask for his help and his advice. His door is literally always open for those students, and he wants them to know that. We got kids that are lawyers at 25 years old. We got kids that are pharmacists. We got kids that are PAs. We, we have young people that graduate from this program doing great things. And I remember sitting down and talking to Dr. Dempsey about my vision and, um, and I told him, I know these kids can do it. It's just how we're gonna go about making sure they get college ready. And so when, when you think about Dr. Dempsey for me, Having had that ability to know where we started at when I got here to where we are today and him having always been the champion for that because he is the president and he could have pulled the plug anytime makes a big difference in where we at today. So that says a lot to me about what his passion is for education and his passion for shaping his community because a college shapes a community. A community college shapes a community. Do we have more to grow? Sure. Will he have a tough legacy to fill? You betcha. He has not been afraid to try new things. Nothing is ever status quo when it comes to John Dempsey and his leadership. It's interesting to me, if you look at community colleges across the state, it's very institutional. John's approach to the college here was to take a counter approach to, to that, which was to really make it appear to be a small college. And that includes the architecture, that includes the landscaping. He always brought in the talent to be able to define Sand Hills Community College as something unique and different. I think one of my father's greatest successes is the fact that he knows how to hire good people and then get out of their way. And that is a hallmark of sound leadership. You find the best person for the job and you let them do that job. Look at all the courses we're now offering that we weren't offering 35 years ago. The enrollment tripled and the campus has tripled. When you think of the Sand Hills, you've got Pine Nurse Resort, you've got First Health, and you got Sand Hills Community College. Those three institutions are what set us apart from the 99 other counties in North Carolina. Without John, Sand Hills Community College would be just like the other 57 community colleges across the state. But for him, it is the crown jewel of our community. If you had to ask me, I would say that John is a big brain, but a bigger heart. He always really had people's best interest at heart, and it was fun to work with him on a project. You knew that you were doing something that was going to benefit the community, but you were going to have a good time <laughs> while you were doing it because he's just so positive and upbeat and happy. And so I think the longer he was here and the more success he had, people would come to him. And so, you know, if there was an issue somewhere, they would say, well, I bet John Dempsey could help us with that. Dr. Dempsey, I wish you well in your retirement. 
We're going to really miss you, but your legacy lives on here and all the people that you've helped, influenced, and supported at Sandhills Community College. <laughs> Thank you for being a powerful force in my life. Thank you for bringing me on the team at Boys and Girls Club. Thank you for bringing me on the team here at St. Hills Community College. For me personally, you know I thank you because you have also done the same for my children. You have given me an opportunity that I otherwise would not have had, and for that, you have changed both of my kids' lives. I want to thank you for always putting people first and creating a culture that encourages our faculty, staff, and students to genuinely care for and appreciate one another making them feel like they're family. It's part of the reason that I love working here and enjoy coming to work every day, and it's part of your legacy. And you should be proud. Keep in mind, we're talking about a person who was a college president, still found the time to coach John's Little League team. Things of this nature. Dad would give us the same enthusiasm at home about our lives as he would his own job. All of his energy he poured into his work, but he was still enthusiastic when he got home about our success and our nurturing. And it, it fed us tremendously. Okay, sorry. Thank you, Dr. Dempsey for taking a leap of faith 15 years ago and hiring me to work at the foundation. I have enjoyed every moment of working with you. It has been, uh, apart from having my daughter, the most meaningful thing I've done with my life. Just thank you for being you and for always investing and believing in everybody who has worked here at the college. I'm grateful for all the things that you've done for our students because all I can think about is I was that student that you helped. And so, although maybe we are saying goodbye, in some ways, the legacy that you have left walks among us, within us, every step of the way. And so, in so many ways, it's never goodbye. His participation in the Vietnam War in the U.S. Navy, really honed his leadership skills, and he saw that there was a world outside of Pennsylvania where he was from, and kind of realized the possibilities of what could happen through education and attending Notre Dame and, and the other colleges that he attended. Taking all those experiences made him realize that education can really change people's lives, so that's what he does at Sand Hills Community College. John has some skills. He had some superpowers. Someone challenged him once to name the roster for the 1953 Philadelphia Phillies. And his response back was, well, do you want the roster against a right-handed pitcher or a left-handed pitcher? And he, of course, could do it. Judging shoe sizes, size nine and a half. And I said, no, John, they're tents. And he said, no, I think they're nine and a half. No, John, they're tents. I went home that night, looked at my shoes. They were a nine and a half. Oh yes, big shoes. John Dempsey filled big shoes and he's got big shoes to fill. And as you leave, I pray that you have a future filled with many more trips to Vito's, many more golf outings, and many great movies. Sleep in during the day, have lunch on the back porch with Evelyn, and just really to ruminate over the wonderful things that you have done in this community, in this college, and really enjoy yourself. My father is 89 years old, and he said the best thing he ever did in his life was make a wonderful movie, a wonderful picture, and now he sits back and every day he thinks about that movie. Dr. Dempsey, you're gonna have one hell of a movie. Enjoy it. When you're coming into the fourth quarter, you know, can you still be the person that you always were? If you can do that, that is the most successful aspect of a life well lived that I can imagine. And I'm looking forward to going to spring training and throwing a ball with you. Now, can you imagine that? John Dempsey, that's, that's what kind of person he is. He's a kid, he's a kid. He knows no greater joy than going to spring training and playing catch, even at this age. And that really is something that very few 
are that way and he helps make us that way which causes us to remember the joy of being a kid and never to lose that sense of being a child. May you enjoy your travels with your beloved Evelyn as you walk down together that long and winding road. Interesting question about retirement. Since we've never experienced it, I have no idea. It's going to be another adventure. There's no doubt in my mind that no matter what the future brings, John will be busy and I will be watching him and we will be laughing. So those three things will certainly be a part of whatever we're doing. He would, <laughs> he could easily stay in till his last breath, but he knows that's not, not in the cars and he knows it's not a good idea. I always knew that retiring would be a challenge because he loves his job. And I love that he loves his job. It's amazing to see a person get up in the morning and start talking about what they're gonna do that day And I've got to say, that is a gift that keeps going. Thirty-four years later, here we are. <laughs> so it's a very interesting road, and the last thirty odd years have been great years. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been everything that we hoped it would be. Perfect fit, and it's been great to watch that. Great to see.